Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We've got a bit of a special video for you today. We're playing this game. Bastion was bought for us as part of Project Gamertag by a good YouTube channel and friend of ours named Keen Eye Gaming. Thank you so much. There's a card popping up on the screen of my favorite video of his right now. Uh, go check it out, and we'll talk a bit more about him as we play this game. But for now, we're going to jump right in. All right, story mode. Let's do it. So this is a game that I know almost Unlimited nothing about. Unlimited chance to carry on if defeated. Uh, hmm, for less experienced players of all ages. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. Let's do that. You think? And if we're like, this is way too easy, we can always add more. That's I true. I can't read the Robert subtitles. Story is supposed to start at the beginning. Oh. Sturdy. Ain't so simple with this one. It's a story. Okay, we'll, now, we'll be quiet for this. whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Whoa. Soundtrack. This is cool. Yeah, it's I right away I <laughs> oh. like it. He gets up. I had to tell oh, you're playing for the bastion where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it reminds me of strangely it reminds Whoa. me of Fez. It's like it's being created as I move. This is way cool. It's okay. like um it's like the Enchantress's uh Forms Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't stop to wonder why. Huh. But look, you go back and it's still there. Yeah, the, okay. So it's procedurally generated, perhaps. Or perhaps Probably not. Probably not. Um, are there subtitles for this game? I got a hammer. Ooh, nice. Press, press B, B to, to attack. attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's satisfying. Yeah, does that feel <gasps> good? Press I can break the wall. I can break the walls. Oh, don't fall off. Whoa. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. The calamity? Yeah, there was a calamity. Who does this narrator's voice remind you of? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. It reminds me of something I just uh, can't put is my it, finger is it, is it that one guy who's in all those romantic That's comedies? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Whoa. Forced out from underground. Yeah, he looks like trouble. Kid pops him good. Cool action RPG. Him, oh man, I don't know much about this game, other than the fact that this is pretty cool already. Do you think everyone? It, speaking of action RPG, do you think everyone's gonna play uh, Secret of Mono when uh, the Some SNES Classic comes out? Ah, uh, perhaps. Perhaps it's a great game. It'll be interesting. Oh, everyone will play Star Fox too, actually. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. Hey, what we are talking about in this video is Project Gamer Tag. It's this deal where, um, I guess, like you uh, you nominate a channel to play a game, and then you get the game for them, and then they do it, and then they pass that on. They sort of nominate another channel. Ooh, Kenai Gaming nominated us. Secret. Uh, Shark Tooth secret. Man nominated him. Oh yeah. And, um, yeah, and, uh, the old repeater falls out of the sky. we'll nominate and someone else. The gods, but it'll have to do. Fang repair? Got a holder still. Fang something. The chamber. It's got unlimited arrows, but it takes a while to reload. The Anna? The, That's uh, cool. The little action animations uh, have, like, more frames than I'm expecting. Like, like the walk cycle and like the, you know, pick up your gun and swing your hammer stuff. Like, some of it feels like it's really well animated. You know. Yeah. He's worked up quite a this is visually really cool. So that fountain looks real inviting. So this is Sometimes still all. A drink. Press Y to heal. Cool. A school of squirts tumbles up around him. Whoa! Look at those little right. fly guys. Oh man, is that negative 10 like you getting hurt? I suppose they're gonna introduce something that's gonna hurt you. Now you gotta sip from the fountain again. So your health bar was like yellow instead of green. It didn't deplete, it changed color. That's sort of interesting. Wait, X is a fountain. Oh, I see. Oh, you're filling like a you bottle. Can that you can fill your bottles. With you? Right, so I can drink that if. Okay. Got it. Now I have three bottles. That little red Ooh, saloon. Pills. That little round red pillow on the floor made me think of um a belly dancing restaurant. Have you ever been Ooh, to one of those? No. He sets foot inside one the of restaurant the itself, the bellies dance. <laughs> Inside's no. old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. The calamity got the bartender. Who is this calamity? 
Ganon. Then kid finds his trusty shield. I wonder how long the narration's going. Always wanted his ashes scattered here. Last, it might be like the whole. Tutorial Did you see that? Stage. It was like a. He was like completely toasted. And when I hit him with my fan hammer. Oh, he was he just like, like ashes? turned into dust. A bullhead shield. Nice. Hold LT to defend. Whoa. Whoa, there's a security. Nicely done. Thank you. I wonder if the shield deteriorates. Or if it only blocks, like, projectiles of a certain attack power for so long. Wow, this is getting hairy. Whoa. That's a fair amount of enemies on the screen doing stuff uh, and the game's holding its yeah. own. Yeah. It's not bad. Although not a lot of variety. This narrator it's like a boss. keeps talking. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna sort of talk over him a little bit, I think. And that's okay. I'm wondering wow. what those, like, crystals over, uh... <clears throat> There were like little gold crystals over the heads of the enemies. That was interesting. But it shows like their elemental ability. So here's or... the window. You said it's Bastion. Evasive window. roll to avoid oncoming attacks. Oh, that's right. You can roll. I forgot about that. Oh, Do man, this a is... barrel roll. Press Z I'm or R. I'm just taking this all in the like the... Top of a breaker's bowl. The guy and keeps talking and it he's distracting me, so I'm going to take out an ear so I can actually think about it. Yeah, what go I'm for doing. it. I love rain in video games. Oh, and they, they did a good job in this one, too. It looks it looks great. Yeah, it's not too distract. It's just barely barely there, which is a, probably good for this kind of game because there's a lot visually going on that you got to figure out. <laughs> oh, I see a glowy. Oh, yeah. Something stringy. It's a memento from a breaker. One of the fastest men in the land. It's a memento. An upgrade material for the breaker's bow. Stretch of meese, meese gut. All right. Meese hunting? Apparently. Huh. I would like to go meese hunting. If anyone's wondering, meese is not the plural of moose. It must be some sort of fictional the the huntable in this game. Uh-oh. Bad news is the aim for the kid. You shooting? Or is that just like a line of sight showing, it's a line of sight how, showing how your Z-targeting is going? Right, so I can like reflect these bullets back to guys. Whirlwind, is this a new attack? Um, uh, press RT to Whirlwind. Woo! That was close, I almost fell off the That's edge. That's a little bit like two-handed weapon, Breath of the Wild, stamina using attack. Oh yeah, True. this guy. Whoa, and then he oh, fell to his death. Is that fell. what he said? I, no. I love how, uh... He's blocking your way, I suppose, until you do whatever needs to be done. Oh, you countered. Well, that was really nice that they said hit Y to heal. Come on. I wonder how that works. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that definitely felt like a do what you gotta do and then you get through. Distur distillery. Let's go to the distillery. Once I'm down. The spirits in that <clears throat> and the kid will feel like a new man. And the kid will feel like a new Select man. Select the spirit for this slot. Ooh. Squirt. Ten cider. max health. Ten percent critical, hit, critical chance. hit chance. Absorb stray fragments. Ooh, that you know what that reminds me of is uh, yeah, it's path the shovel to the sky. You, oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, also the shovel knight dealie where you attract the money. Let's do this. I'm down. Cool. Let's go to the kid can pick the best weapon slot. Hey. Hammer breaker bow. Ooh, fanger Peter. What? <laughs> it really shows what kind of gamer you are. Do you want the ranged weapon? Do you want the melee weapon? Right. Okay, so you can change. Ooh, breaker technique causes an air to bounce from target to target. That's cooler than the whirl. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty sweet. A secret skill. So, this is my question, is this like a... Is this a game that's more like a... Like a roguelite kind of game? Or is it like... Like a 
singular story. I, I don't know. You it know, seems like, like it's going to be a story. But usually there's not this much action before they give you a little more story. I guess maybe that's why they're going for the whole like narrator thing. Because he still says stuff from time to time, if you got your ear out. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Like Usually with the story-driven thing, it's like there's a little more story first. You know, and then there's some action, yeah, and then you're given a fair dose of story. Kid good manners. He never used them, though. Uh, some about good manners never used them, though. Yeah, that was like oh, the, I, I killed a lady. Whoa. I didn't kill a lady. I just, I mean, she was already dead and turned to like ash. Oh. He was saying like he just crumbled her. It was a lady that he used to know, and she taught me how to have good manners. Oh my god. Oh, gosh. I see. If you push the button right before it hits you. Just like in Breath of the Wild, it reflects it. With the Guardians. <laughs> yep. Um, also, like other Zelda games. Oh, that box is something. Oh, bad guys. Box full of baddies. This game is, it's interestingly, it's reminding me of, oh, you're very low on, okay, good job. I healed. It's reminding me of a lot of different games. It's interesting that you had to break through the wall there. Were they hoping to teach you there? Because you'd already sort of experimented and found that. The music, by the way, is ramping up. Ooh, I want to hear. So you could be, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Getting to boss, boss yeah, mode. mini boss guys. Gosh, the beat-em-up nature is... It's like, uh... It's like a beat-em-up game. It's like so many things. When you were floating and stuff was shooting at you, I thought a Cobra Triangle for the NES. That's a difficult game. He just said scumbag. <laughs> that guy looks like a scumbag. The the action in this game is fun. Yeah, it uh it, Oh he's knocking the floor out. Oh yeah, you are. Or he is. I'm thinking of so many different games. Uh I wonder if it's because I have somewhat limited ex exposure to some games, and so I have to compare everything to Level 2. Something. Ooh, pick those things up. Um, yeah, but does the action feel almost a little castle crasher -y? Uh, It's just beat em up -y. I mean, I haven't played much. Yeah, of that I guess game. I guess it is a little bit, but it's isometric though So it's weird. Yeah, it's not quite castle. That Whoa. just looks like a dead end. Yeah, and by dead end I mean dead. the kid fell down into the hole dead. and his life was never seen again <laughs> Or whatever <laughs> his life was never seen again. <laughs> I wasn't thinking too hard about that finds the core to the wharf district he finds the core to the war. He steals the city's heart. He steals well. the city's heart. I don't know, the narrator, maybe we should be listening better, but the narrator's not really adding much for me. Yeah, he's he's just sort of like saying stuff. It definitely adds some ambiance. Yeah, but the game... it would be hard to concentrate on if you're playing. Like right. that, and then you, guys, if you didn't catch it, Ted took his uh, earpiece out, his, his earbud out of his ear because he just keeps running. He's focusing on playing, but I've still got mine in, so I'm kind of hearing the game and the sultry voice that you're hearing every once in a while. I actually put it back in. Oh, you did? Yeah, I wanted to hear the music that you were ranting and raving about. I said one thing! Oh, don't fall so, off. Oh, you, but it was a rant. It was one rant. <laughs> it was a one-sentence rant. Dang, this music's good! All right, fine. Quit ranting and raving. <laughs> <laughs> you were ranting and raving! Seriously, you were over there and there was like flashing lights and you're like boots, boots, boots. You're I'm definitely raving. I'm totally fine with our decision to take I don't know if our decision is impacting how much like health and stuff you're getting. But it seems like a challenging game right out the gate, and I just want to yeah. keep progressing, so I'm glad that they're being generous with uh now the kids see Ooh, you unlocked unlimited a of chances to do stuff. Races. The Bastion. The ba we're on the Bastion. Okay, this is what this so new game, game is called. I feel like that's the tutorial. And that, sure it may also be like one of those kind of tutorials where it becomes the last level, he you know? And now this is the yeah. real first level. Oh, it's like a hub world, I'll bet. Oh no. Ooh, I was looking, I'm looking at the old guy with the exclamation the point, thinking that was like a keyhole, but instead it it's... Growing again. He just has stuff Whoa. to say. Stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Interesting. Now the Bastion can send him even farther. Into the wild unknown. I feel like I crazy. Was... So it's like a ship that's an island that's a. I feel like I'd like to house. live there. 
I'd like to like hang out there for a while. Yeah, this is cool. It's like a treehouse build itself. Well, okay. Entirely. Although I'd probably be crawling so everywhere, build stuff afraid to in fall off. Wow, this game is pretty cool, Basement Dwellers. Yeah. We're excited to play a little bit more of it. I like it so far. Uh, but uh, that's going to kind of do it for today. Yeah, we'll play some more of this game in the near future because we're liking it. We're going to play some more. And hey, as far as Project Gamertag goes, we haven't actually uh, reached out to any channels and asked them if it would be okay if we nominate them. So we're just going to mention that at this time. We... <laughs> We just sort of fell into this game and we're, we're a bit unplanning about it, but uh, we're going to pick a channel, and hey, if you've got a channel and you want to sort of, um, you know, put toss your hat into the ring, just let us know in the comments below. Please do. Um, otherwise, we'll be picking a channel that's uh, old friends and near and dear to us at some point and um, right. passing along this uh, gamer tag deal. Hey, and until next time, Basement Dwellers. Uh, Make sure to check out Keen Eye Gaming's channel. Oh, yes, that's right. We're putting yep. links uh, to his, some of his videos and to his channel up on the end screen right here and uh, encouraging you to go check him out. And thanks once again, Keen Eye, for this game. Till next time, Basement Dwellers, we think that you are more procedurally generated than... Minecraft meets Roguelite meets 20XDX meets uh, procedures in generations in, in the, the basement. basement. <laughs>